So this is my MBOT Tiny review. MBOT Tiny Coding Kit. This is aimed for kids age four plus. I think this is a fantastic toy to teach even really young kids the very basics of coding. I'm super excited about this toy um, and I wanna show you some of the cool features. It comes in this box. It's pre-assembled so you don't need to set anything up. You just need to plug it in and charge it. And then you need to open up the various coding pieces that I'm gonna show you here. So essentially this toy is gonna to teach young kids about algorithms. Algorithms are a really important part of coding to understand how we give instructions to computers. And these little blocks that come with the MBOT Tiny are mimicking what we would use in a block-based coding program like Scratch, right? So this is kind of looks like the blocks that we use in a program like Scratch, but these are just physical uh, pieces and kids, young kids are gonna do much better with physical objects than something that's more abstract on a screen. So essentially, um, MBOT Tiny comes with these coding pieces and they're double-sided. I'll show you the other side a little bit later. Um, but essentially what you wanna do is you wanna create your own little mazes and you wanna direct your kids to help you solve the maze. So let's start off by saying, can we get mbot tiny to the bath here okay so what are we going to do we always start with our start block then we want to move we're going to start mbot like this we want to move mbot forward one block and then we want to move mbot forward again another block so we're going to do that here and so the cool way that this works is you take your pen and you actually press it on each of the blocks and that's what creates the program and then you got to press your start flag here so that's super cool so mbot made it to the bath there so now let's go back to the beginning but say we want to be more advanced maybe we're going to actually use a loop this time because we actually have two forward arrows in a row. Why don't we just make our code a little bit more efficient and tell MBOT to do this twice. So, so as, you, as you get more advanced, you can use these loops and um, teach your kids about more advanced coding concepts. And you can see there that MBOT knew it was on that bath square, so it did a little animation, which I think also adds to the fun for kids. Okay, now let's tell our kids to take MBOT to the clown. Okay, so this time we're gonna move forward one, but then we're gonna have to turn. We're gonna need to turn right. And it's easy, kids can see it physically here, and then we're gonna need to move forward again to get to that clown, okay? And so we're gonna go. And you can see Ambot's little animation there. So we made it to the clown. We could be telling a, a program for the soccer ball or the house. The more that we build on here, the more complex our algorithm will get. And that can uh, change as the kids become more advanced. There are also these fun blocks to change the face of MBOT. So just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so now MBOT put on its angry face because I programmed that algorithm there. I think that's really cute. There is also, speaking of cute, there is also some decorative items that come with the MBOT Tiny. So you can add little masks. I like chickens, so you can add little masks to make your MBOT dress up. I want to show you this last part is so that, of course, we have this um, kind of grass-based maze here, but they also have, on the other, the flip side of these cards, they have more of a road-based map. So again, we're working on algorithms here. So let's see if we can get MBOT 
from the police station to the hospital. So in this case, we're gonna wanna go forward, and then we're gonna wanna go forward again, and then we're gonna wanna go left this time, and then forward, and then right, and then forward. Let's tell Mbot Tiny to do that algorithm. This is obviously a bit more complex for your little bit older kids. Okay, I messed up there. So I thought I was supposed to be turning right here at the end, but I'm actually supposed to be turning left. So now I've got to debug my code, okay? I thought I was turning uh, right, but I'm actually turning left. Let's try it again. This is the act of debugging our code, okay? So we made it to the hospital with correct, we corrected the algorithm here. I think this is such a fun toy for kids to learn about coding. I love the physical coding blocks. I think that just really brings them to life. I love how they have these extra, more complex uh, things like loops. I love the scenes here. It's going to make it so easy to come up with ideas for your classroom or for home to try to get kids excited about coding. I uh, really love this one. I think it's great for kids four to probably eight or nine. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my review.